What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Heather and I'm a travel enthusiast. I love going to Mexico especially to the all-inclusive resorts. You can get so much bang for your buck here so I love to take you guys along these trips with me so you can get a real feel of these resorts and see if it's worth your hard-earned money. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not so good. So I'm here to help you figure out where to go on your next vacation. And I love doing these vlogs for you guys. So consider subscribing and let's jump into the latest resort I just traveled to. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. First, let's just start out by saying how nice it is to travel without masks again. Yeah! But let's jump into this resort now. I am going back to Moon Palace Cancun with my husband and three kids. I did a review on this last September in 2021. So I wanted to share the difference um, from kind of that was still COVID times to now. Is it the same? Is it any different? Is it better? Is it worse? The prices, um, all that will be shared in this review. So definitely stay tuned if you are interested. Now we picked to come back to Moon Palace because of how many amenities this resort has. Last time we were at Nazook, so this time I wanted to try Sunrise. For my returning followers, I know you remember me saying this last time. Would we come back? If someone gave me the option of trying a new resort or coming back, I would try a new resort just because, I don't know. It's a good resort. The price is a little steep for this place. So after traveling to a few different resorts since that video, I gathered my thoughts and put everything together as far as all the amenities that this place offers and I thought it would be a great place to take my kids. And it wouldn't be any surprises, I knew what to expect with this resort. Now there's definitely some differences that um, we ran into for this trip so definitely stay tuned and I will discuss everything from the pools, the food, the rooms everything about this resort to see if it's worth you taking your family. Check-in was a breeze at Moon Palace, sunrise. They give you welcome drinks and then they put your bands on you so you're free to roam the resort and start enjoying the pools and the food. Our room was ready about 3 p.m. that day. The very first thing we did was jump over to the buffet because we were starving after a trip from Texas and then we jumped right into the pools. This was a clip from my last vlog and I wanted to share this because it was a beautiful bright sunny day. Unfortunately we had only one day of sunshine during our eight day stay here. My worst nightmare came true on this trip. Summer is known to be the rainy season but hurricane season definitely started early this year with Hurricane Agatha hitting the other side of Mexico as soon as we arrived. So it rained and rained and rained most of our stay. The pools are fixing to overflow. And I know that's everybody's worst fear when traveling to a beach vacation destination. But the positive about Moon Palace is they have so much to do. We weren't just sitting in our rooms for eight days. It's not like I've got my own private pool. <laughs> It's too damn cold. I'm going to stay jump. right here. Jump, jump, it's jump. Easy. So we were still able to get in. It was chilly, you guys. It was chilly. We didn't plan for a hurricane, but we tried to make the best of it. And very thankful that Moon Palace had so much for the kids to do, even in the rain and inside as well. So stay tuned and I will share everything that we experienced on our trip. So those of you who are new here and didn't catch my last Moon Palace vlog, I just wanted to share the beach. Now, the beach at Moon Palace versus other places we've been to is a lot different. People do not come here for the beach. They come here for the amenities. So definitely don't come to Moon Palace expecting a gorgeous beach because where it's sitting, it's just not very pretty. It hasn't been in years, they've said. But the pools are fabulous. The drinks are amazing here. And I'm kind of a drink snob. They have lots of going on at the pools. Um, if you want beautiful beaches, you can go to their sister resort down at Cancun. I believe it's called Beach Palace. Or you can take a trip to Isla, which I will share on this vlog what we did with our kids. And it was beautiful beaches as well. But again, I really love the pool vibes here at Sunrise. They have this really cool swing bar right in the middle. And if you would like to go visit the property right next door, Nazook, that's where we stayed last time. I'm going to give you a quick little view of what this pool scene is like. It was definitely more lively 
in the summer versus when we were there in September. It was more of an older crowd here in Nizook um, versus Sunrise where it was more kind of, you know, party vibes. Um, louder music, more going on. But the kids liked to just jump back and forth between Sunrise and Nizook Pool. And it's amazing that you can do that with no cost. It's included. You can jump on a golf cart and come over here. I actually prefer eating lunch over here because they had a little bit better menu than the Sunrise Pool Grill. I thought we always came over here and I got shrimp cocktails. We got pizzas. We got quesadillas. What else did we get? Barbecue wings. So I just felt like they had a little bit more option over here than at Sunrise, but the Sunrise wasn't bad. We'll get into the food in just a little bit. So now let's get into some entertainment. What to do on a rainy day. Right off the main lobby at Sunrise down this hall was one of our favorite spots to hang out. This is the Wired Lounge. They had everything from arcade games to video games to our favorite was pool and air hockey. You can go in there and sign your kids up and just leave them if you want and let them play. But we kind of stayed and hung out with them just because it was so rainy. Now it does get crowded, obviously, if it's rainy, but it's amazing that they have it for the kids and it's free. They also have this playroom, which is geared towards the younger ones. I went in here and wanted to film to share with you guys who are traveling with younger kids. Um, I think Hattie, my youngest, she is nine. She could have hung out here totally, but she decided to hang out with Big Sister. So we just came in here and filmed. They have so many neat little areas here. And it's kind of like a mini wired lounge with a few little extras. They even have a little jungle gym area for your kids to go in and play. And you can drop them off here, sign them in. It's very well supervised. I would totally trust the employees at Moon Palace. They are so nice and friendly. And look at this little movie area. This was so cool, I thought. I wish the Wired Lounge did have a movie section, but it's over here in the playroom, which is on the kind of middle of the Sunrise area. So definitely check that out if you're traveling with younger kids. They also have mini golf, putt-putt. We did this when the rain was kind of not so intense one afternoon. We probably would have done it more if we would have found out about it sooner, but it's definitely in between the properties kind of hidden. So check that out as well. Of course, they have nightly shows that are amazing. Now, when it did rain at night, they moved some of the shows into their nightclub and it was a little crowded, but at least they still had it. Definitely get there early though, guys. Like I'm talking 20, 30 minutes before the show starts if you want a seat. And they were pretty good. They also had vendors that came in. Um, this was over at the Nazook side one night. We got some little souvenirs. It was amazing, well-priced. So I'm glad that they offered that at this resort. If you don't feel like traveling down to Playa or downtown Cancun to shop. Now let's talk about what extras that we did, what we paid extra to do. Now, Moon Palace has a property called The Grand. It is more expensive to stay at, so there was no way I was gonna pay that price taking all three of my kids here. <laughs> um, we traveled to it last time, but I definitely wanted to include it in the vlog this time. We used resort credits, so it only came out to be, I wanna say $60 to take all my kids, including ourselves, to the Grand to um, enjoy their amenities here. But I believe the resort credits are stopping, if I'm not mistaken. Check it out, make sure I'm not fibbing there, but. Anyway, typical day passes here are about $100 per person if you don't have resort credits, but hopefully you can get your hands on some resort credits. They have a water park, indoor arcade, which I'll show in a second. They do have a wave rider. So this property does have a little bit more than Sunrise in Nazook, but it's also very expensive to stay here. That's why I just wanted to do the day passes over here. And I feel like the Grand is almost geared towards younger, ones where like my older kids preferred the sunrise property so let's get into what all the grand has just in case you might want to stay here instead I wanted to add, if you want to go up and do this little zip line course, that you do need tennis shoes. Now, we didn't bring tennis shoes with us. Staying over at Sunrise, I didn't want to go back there and get them. So we didn't partake in that. But again, I think it's geared towards like probably 10 and under. Like my big kids probably wouldn't have gotten up there and done that. But if you want to, bring some tennis shoes. 
but as you can see so much to do in this place it's located right in the middle of the water park lots of different activities some were shut down when we were there so hopefully when you travel they will be open to offer a little bit more but lots of fun even my husband was having a blast in here so fun for all ages. If you're not staying at the Grand and you just get day passes, you can enjoy obviously the food and drinks there. We went to Los Tacos where we went last trip here and it was so disappointing, I will say. The food portions were like cut down in size from when we traveled back in September and it took forever to get the food. It was so good, but look how small. I mean, we were still starving. So we went up the hill to a different section and went and got some food from their grill. Obviously got more food here but definitely waited forever. I will say the wait times at the Grand, and maybe it's because there were so many people there, just took a long time versus at Sunrise in Nazook. So maybe keep that, you know, in your mind when traveling, because I typically don't like to wait a long time for lunches when you're starving. But beautiful property, lots of different pools to jump into at the Grand. I promised my kids I would take them to the Coconut Bar so they could try it out and we traveled down the beach to the coconut bar and it was closed so that was a little disappointing <laughs> as you can see my daughter's face she's like what the heck it's closed so after that we were just kind of over the grand we decided to go back to sunrise patty you like sunrise or the grand huh you like grand no sunrise. you like sunrise taylor what's your verdict sunrise i pick sunrise Save your money. Some people are going to be hating on me who have stayed at the Grand probably, but we love Sunrise. I'm glad we picked this property and saved some money. I just wanted to give y'all a little update. We are on day two here at Sunrise Moon Palace. Um, definitely a lot of things that have been different since traveling since, um, I mean, it hadn't really been that long, just since September, so less than a year ago. During COVID and what I call now, COVID's kind of not really a thing. Thank God. Um, so they've dropped a lot of mandates. Um, we didn't wear masks in the airport. Of course, we are not wearing any masks here. We never really did last time either. But just some thoughts I wanted to share. So it's a lot busier. I think the resort is almost at like probably 85% capacity when we were here back in September. I think they were at 30. So obviously way more crowded. We're traveling at the beginning of summer. Um, so it's going to be crowded anyway just because it's summertime and then you've got the resort bumping back up with its capacity i and i didn't come in here expecting to be um like last time i figured it was going to be more of a wait when it came for food and drinks and stuff like that because i had heard that they're bumping the capacity up but maybe not all the workers are back yet i think that's kind of the situation here but we've had some really good luck with places here at sunrise where we haven't waited that long so that's been great um going over to the grand today oh my god i mean we waited so long for lunch still hasn't been bad we're only on night two so i'll update if anything changes drastically but just definitely wanted to share expect some weights now that everything's bumped back bumped back up COVID is no longer really a thing more people are traveling hopefully they have enough staff um so waiting shouldn't be an issue and that'll get better within the next few months hadn't been bad but definitely something i knew that could happen and at the grand crazy super super crazy long waits for drinks anything um, and you pay so much more to stay at the Grand. Like, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, it's definitely a good property. I think if you have little bitty kids over at the Grand, but I think like people are paying close to sixteen, eighteen hundred dollars a person just to go to the Grand, and I'm like, God, that's so expensive. That is so expensive. So I will share what we paid. Um, at the end of this video so definitely stick around and stay tuned again we did book through a member again now this is the only resort i've ever booked through a member i explained this process in my last vlog so definitely check that out i will go into more detail with that but i booked through this lady belinda osborne she's so nice she got us a great rate um that got us a really good rate so booking through a member definitely has its perks um sometimes they're the same as expedia but you just gotta price check things. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna go to dinner and I'll share more about that. 
another extra that you can do here at Moon Palace is play golf. Now, my son and husband were really looking forward to playing golf, but as you can see, it rained a lot on our trip. And the morning they were scheduled to play golf, they were hoping the rain would stop, and I think it did for like five, 10 minutes, and then they had to come right back. But just showing you a little of their golf resort property towards the back of Moon Palace. Um, it's very nice. I believe this is a Jack Nicholson uh, course. So for the golf lovers, definitely a good option for you guys. It wasn't super crazy expensive. Um, we were gonna use our resort credits. There it is. Been running to the golf carts to leave. But unfortunately, it started pouring down rain on them and we got our money back since they didn't get to golf the whole day. I decided to take advantage of the spa and get my hair braided. It was so much easier dealing with this while it was raining and they did an amazing job and it was so affordable. So definitely, you know, hit up the ladies over here at the spa. I believe my lady was named Beatrice. She was so sweet and did such a good job. It's high, oh my gosh, wow, I love it. So another thing we wanted to do on a day that it wasn't supposed to rain as much was take our kids over to Isla Mujeres. It's a gorgeous island not far from where we were at and they had beautiful beaches. Even though it was super cloudy, it was still nice to just kind of get off the resort and get a nice beach and get a little more idea of the culture. I have a full video of when me and my husband went to Isla last year of everything that we did, restaurants that we ate at, and how you can save major money by just going yourself versus on a guided tour with other people. So if you're interested, that video will be linked down below. But we did rent a golf cart and drive around this island ourselves. We only made it a few hours because we knew that we were about to get some crazy storms. So our time was cut short and we went back to the hotel. But we did have time to stop at Putasor and eat at an amazing restaurant and get some fun pictures of the kids. So for you guys who are traveling with kids, especially for a family of five, sometimes it can be a little difficult. And I love Moon Palace because they do give you two rooms that are right next to each other. This is the double bedroom that my kids shared my girls slept on one bed my son slept on the other it has a little tub right out there in the middle not the biggest bathroom we've stayed at but it's obviously a decent size good enough for my kids we did bring damper this time because last time when we stayed at moon palace it was a little humid and i feel like it helped a little bit it definitely got um not as sticky feeling when we brought those so definitely bring you some of that when traveling to any resort just in case uh, it had a nice balcony. We were located right next to the Wave Rider to the pools. Such a quick walk to get there. So I loved the area that we were at. I believe it was called the Mango Building. And just showing you what the room looks like standing from the patio. Very nice, very well decorated. It was clean. Room service came every single day, sometimes twice a day, which I thought was awesome. And here is where me and my husband stayed. It had the adjoining door right in the middle that can shut and lock if you need it to. We also did a bag of damp rib right over our tub and you can see it's working just a little bit. So it was nice. The rooms did get cold. You know, if you're a follower of mine, I always tell y'all if the rooms get cold or not. And we didn't have any problems at Moon Palace with the rooms being hot. They do give you a fridge with some alcohol little mini bar if you choose to partake in that now it was in my kids room also so we made sure to have that taken out um, so just heads up for that plenty of storage you get a safe also you do get a blow dryer and flat iron along with chi products this is a, a chi affiliated resort and chi is a pretty you know good line of products i'm a hairstylist so i thought that was kind of neat that they did include that in your room now let's move on to the food. Now, if you're a big foodie, I wouldn't say Moon Palace is like top notch. Um, the food was amazing for us, but I'm not like a huge food snob. They do have two buffets open for breakfast, which is amazing because this is a large resort and it can get kind of crowded. So it was nice to have two different options. They basically had the same thing, but it wasn't super crowded getting food because they had the two buffets open. 
For breakfast, you can also come over here to the bakery and get you some coffee and some donuts. I just discovered they had these donuts on our very last day there. They do have treats as well, like gelatos and little truffles and crepes. They also have sandwiches if you wanna jump up here at night or during the day and grab you a snack. I loved the bakery here at Moon Palace one of my kids favorite things just to come up here several times a day and again it's all included this is the bakery over at nazook i wanted to show you all the difference it's a little smaller than the sunrise one but still had the same great options you can order room service we did this almost every night around 10 o'clock because we would go to the shows and kind of want a little late night snack and I, the room service was great i loved all the options as well as my kids and my girls are kind of picky so if you have picky eaters just know that there's options here at this resort now one of the favorites that we got to enjoy the very first day was the texas smoked barbecue that's located right beside the sunrise pool Unfortunately, due to all the rain and the wind, they had to shut it down during lunchtime, so we didn't get to eat there very much. But we did do the grill that was right beside the Sunrise Pool. And then also over at Nazook, they do have an indoor buffet. And if you get there right around lunchtime before they open the doors, just be prepared to wait. It got pretty crowded at lunch. Now, they didn't have two buffets open at lunch like they did for breakfast. If they did, I think it would have not as been as clustered. But the lunch was really good at the buffet, I thought. They had pasta. They had teriyaki, they had so many different options. So we did enjoy the indoor buffet, but typically we love to stay outside right by the pool and eat. But since it was rainy, we did not get to do that. Again, also they have a lot of good treats here. Now let's move on to dinner. What they have for the dinner options. One of our favorites was the Brazilian Steakhouse over at Nazook. You do not need reservations for this. You just show up. They come around with skewers of different meats and just cut you off as much as you want. My kids loved this. We ate here twice. Again, if you're going to show up right around 6, 6.30, be prepared to wait as there's a lot of people wanting in at that time. So if you are late eaters, you may not have to wait as long. Now, the Japanese restaurant was called Momo. It was definitely one of our favorites. You do need a reservation here, so make sure and make those reservations when you check in. We did have to wait a day or two to get in. You can choose to do the hibachi, or you can walk in and not have a reservation over at the tables, which was just as good as well. Now, obviously we didn't try all the restaurants, so I'm just showing you the ones that we went to. The golf course has two different restaurants and we chose the Italian this time because we did not eat here last time we stayed at Moon Palace and it was fabulous. So you have to get a golf cart ride and it's about a five minute trip out there. They have Riviera Maya, which is more of a Mexican cuisine. That place is fabulous. And La Trattoria, I believe it's how it's called, is the Italian that we chose. And definitely different than what we're used to, but it was so good. My kids enjoyed it. So definitely try this place out if you are coming to Moon Palace. And you do need a reservation for this, you guys. Out at the golf course, you do need reservations for both of the restaurants at dinner. Now let's move on to the COVID testing. I just found out a few days ago that if you live in the U.S., you no longer have to test to get back in the U.S., but we had to because they still had this in place when we were staying. I'm so happy we don't have to do this anymore. I hope, I hope they did not bring this back, but if they do, they made this process super easy and painless. Barely went up the nose, you guys, so. Tightly, did they go up far with yours? Huh? No. Did they go up far with yours? No, they went like right here. Like on just, just on the edge, yeah. So that brings me to the end of this video. My kids really enjoyed their stay. They were worn out, even though it rained a lot. Definitely an amazing place. Check out my other vlog if you want to travel just as an adult because I share a different side, obviously, on that vlog of many things you can do when traveling without kids. Lots of fun times with a family and just as much fun going as a couple. So now let's get into pricing. Please take in consideration that I live in Texas and sometimes the flights are different price from where you're flying into. And we also booked through a member, which came to almost about 1200 per person for seven nights, which I didn't think was bad at all. 
Now definitely subscribe and stay tuned. It's just a few short weeks till we travel back to Mexico, trying out a new resort for you guys. We are going to be staying at the Valentine Imperial. I've heard fabulous things about this, all inclusive adults only. So if you're interested, definitely stay tuned. That will be coming very soon. Thank you guys for checking out my channel. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week.